click on the links in the description to watch the full video. The Book of Enoch describes in dramatic detail a period in which 200 Watchers arrive on planet Earth and begin abducting human females. With these women, the Watchers produce hybrid beings who are human in form but far larger than normal human beings. Mythologies around the world corroborate the Book of Enoch's account of abductions by extraterrestrial presences exiled on planet Earth. Although quoted verbatim in the New Testament letter of Jude and accepted as scripture by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the Book of Enoch has never been included in the internationally accepted canons of scripture for either Judaism or Christianity. The fact that the Book of Enoch isn't in the official canons of scripture, I don't think is particularly important. First of all, we should acknowledge that it is in the canon of the Bible in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. It was quoted by Clement of Alexandria, one of the most significant of the early church fathers, as if it was scripture. The book of Jude, when he wants to quote the Enoch of the Bible, he quotes the book of Enoch word by word. He assumes that his readers, his New Testament readers, have read the book of Enoch. I think the significance of that really can't be exaggerated. The stories told in the book of Enoch are really an unpacking of narratives that we find in canonical books, Genesis, Ezekiel, the Gospels, and the New Testament. So in that sense, it's a book that believers shouldn't be frightened of reading. It is a book absolutely affirmed by the canonical scriptures themselves. The Book of Enoch's story of 200 watchers coming to planet Earth and hybridizing with human females, resulting in giants, well, that's a narrative that you can find repeated. It's there in Genesis 6, but it's there in the narratives of cultures all around the world. You can find it in African stories, Indian stories, Greek stories, the Sumerian stories. It's there in Genesis chapter 6 and in the narratives of cultures all around the world. And the story is always the same. Beings of another kind coming to planet Earth, hybridizing and interbreeding with human females and resulting in a different kind of being called a giant or a titan, or a Nephilim. In the West, these ancient accounts of abduction and interbreeding have been read as fables. The beings exiled to Earth are interpreted as mythical beings, or nothing more than literary creations. Some interpret the Watchers of Enoch and the Mamiwata people as spiritual beings, rather than a species like ourselves. But this explanation fails to account for the narrative of interbreeding. Many of the Christian and shamanic traditions of Africa take a more concrete view. Now, some would say these watchers are angels, but the word angel doesn't tell us what kind of being they are. What we can say is that they come from space, that they are physical every bit as much as we are, that they are similar enough to us to be able to hybridize with us, different enough that the result of that hybridization is different to us. They can travel great distances with great rapidity, maybe even interdimensionally. They come from the sky and they intervene harmfully in human affairs. Now, by any account, that sounds to me an awful lot like an extraterrestrial. Click on the links in the description to watch the full video.